Hi, I'm JJ Snyder with the Red Carpet Report. We're at Grauman's Chinese Theater for the 8th Annual Holly Shorts Film Festival. Good to see you here tonight at the Holly Shorts Festival. Great to be here, thank you. Great, and your project is Say It Ain't Solo? Say It Ain't Solo, silly little play on words. Uh, Tell it's, me about it. Well, it's about a father and son. Uh, you know, Hollywood loves to... Let's step you closer. Okay. Uh, let's just get right up in that camera. Why, just let's right do up. it. I'll get, on, I will Jack. get up in that camera. Uh, so, um, so basically, Hollywood is making so many remakes right now. Everything. Yeah. There's uh, always a sequel. A sequel, a reboot, a remake, a TV show. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm tired of it. I feel audiences are tired of it. I get it from a business point of view. I understand it. You have a built-in audience. Okay. What happens in my movie, Say It Ain't Solo, a father and son learn that their favorite movie, Star Wars, is about to be remade and they enlist the help of celebrity friends to stop this remake from happening. Because God forbid, if they remade Star Wars, what's going to happen? People, yeah. are, people are going to freak out. Yeah. 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 Not good. Don't mess with a good thing. No, absolutely right? not. Yeah. Absolutely. It's Star Wars. It's one of the best. I mean, it would be as bad as Back to the Future being remade. Any, you know. Any, you know yeah. How any, could you touch that? You can't. You can't touch right. it. But, like, you know, I'm hoping that movies like that will never be touched. But, okay. um uh, so yeah, we got an amazing cast. We got uh, Malin Ackerman, Jason Alexander, Emmanuel Shrieky. Oh, wow. I mean, uh, Jason. Uh, sorry, uh, Christopher Lloyd, Joe Mantegna, Kunal Nayar from Big Bang. Wow. Uh, Eddie K. Thomas and Stephen Tobolowsky. Dude, okay. Amazing. You're like hooked up. I mean, how do you make those phone calls and get those people? Come on. Honestly, I only knew. <laughs> Come on. I, I knew two of them. I knew yeah. Eddie and Stephen. The rest cold calls. Believe it or not. Really. Cold calls, that's what I learned. If you want to do something, yes. you got to do it. And so I cold called yes. the manager and set the script, and these people were lucky enough. I was lucky enough that these people said yes. So. Can, I, can I ask you honestly, did you have to psych yourself up for a couple of those calls, like staring at the phone like, I'm going to do this? Yes. There was definitely moments where you're like dialing, and you're like, okay, this is it. This is, you are calling Emmanuel Shriki's manager. Yes. Let's, let's go. And um, So listen, I have a career coach who's, who's taught me like how to make cold calls, and part of what she helps me do is like write a little script before you make the call. Like Know what you're going to say. Did you do that at all? I did it in my head. I didn't, yes. I didn't write it, but in yes. my head I had the basic idea. I would call up and tell them a little bit about myself and my past. I'd tell them a couple of the actors who were already on board and just say, I need them for 90 minutes. That was a big thing. I just need 90 minutes, right. pick a day, and we will be there. You pick a day, 90 minutes of your time, and, and it takes tremendous organization to only use someone for 90 minutes, right? So right. You had to have it together. Exactly. So we had the crew show up about an hour before, mm -hmm. and then the uh, actor would show up. We put him in makeup, give him a microphone, set him it, set him down, and I'm I'm very collaborative. Which uh, I told everyone, just you know, make some jokes, mix it up a little bit, and they were so great. They improvised some great ideas, all of them, and I just you know, so so lucky to get an amazing cast like that. I mean, it was just just ridiculous. Hey, congratulations! And I know tonight is a big night for you, and you're also going to several other film festivals. Yeah, we got into six total. This is the great. biggest. I mean, this is Holly Shorts. This is un unbelievable. What makes Holly Shorts so special? It just it's just enormous. You know, uh, some people. People call it the Oscars of short films. Really? Uh, I, I've heard it. I've heard that wow. mentioned a couple times. Yeah. Um, and it's just. I mean, we're at the Grauman's Chinese Theater. I know. I mean, come on. It's so I'm, nostalgic. I'm, exactly. Cool. Exactly. Great to meet you tonight. Yeah, really nice meeting yeah, you, JJ. Take care.